What's good? Yeah. <laughs> I had this thought on my mind. I've been hearing about it. And and I, I want to talk about this Detroit and Detroit sports teams, man. It's just, just a simple question. What who will be the next Detroit team to bring home the championship to Detroit? Like, seriously. Like, for real. Because we in this drought, we haven't won a championship in forever. I think I made a video of something like this before. Something similar to this video to the video I'm about to make right now. But it's not exactly the same. I actually I actually said in my the video I made like this before, I said something about like like, can somebody bring home a championship? But it, I, I'm just saying, what team do you think will be the next Detroit team that will bring home a championship? Because I, I'm outweighing my options. <sighs> Let's start off with the Tigers. I don't see them bringing home no damn championship in the next year or two. I don't see it. I don't definitely don't see it this year, man. They got their ass fucking raped. For the past two fucking days against the Cleveland Indians. It's like they can't beat the Indians for shit this year, man. They they used to whoop the Indians ass back then. Now they just can't beat these motherfuckers. Like, they can't beat them for shit. I think they only beat the Indians like once this year or twice. Man, the Indians been whooping our ass, man. Like, like, the, oh, like the fucking Los Angeles A's used to do. They used to be whooping our ass every motherfucking year, be busting the Tigers' ass for some reason with Albert Pujols. They used to be raping the fuck out of the damn Tigers. That shit be sickening. And then the <laughs> Cleveland, yesterday I watched the Tigers game, man. We lost 7-4, to four, and today we lost 6 to nothing. That's some bullshit, man. This team play like shit because the pitching ain't shit. And then... I ain't gonna get into the game like that, man. That's some bullshit, man. And then, <laughs> and then you got the Red Wings. The Red Wings, they always been good just to make it to the playoffs for the past five years. They just been good enough, but they haven't actually went won any playoff series in the last, I think, three years. The last time they won a playoff series was like 2012 when we damn near went to. The Stanley Cup, but we lost against the Blackhawks. <sighs> the type, I mean, the Red Wings, they suck this year. They got their shit pushed in by the Tampa Bay Lightning in the first round. They lost <laughs> four to one. <laughs> they only won one fucking game, which was sad. I know because I was watching the fucking games and shit. So, <laughs> the type, the Red Wings, they play like some punk ass pussies. And that whole goddamn series, they let Tampa Bay just bully their ass. It's just fucking terrible. They was out physical in them. They were just muscle in them. They just made them. They just made the Tigers look. I mean, the Red Wings look like bitches. Flat the fuck out. Do I see them winning the Stanley Cup anytime soon? It's hard to say, but no, I don't see it. I don't see it in the next few years. I definitely don't see it. I really don't see it. Now let's go to the Lions, the Detroit Lions, my favorite fucking team, my team of teams, my team of teams. I love my Pistons, and I love my damn Lions to death. <laughs> but the Lions is number one. They my number one team of teams. Number two has to be has to be um, the Pistons. Number three has to be Michigan football. Or Michigan, period. Mainly Michigan football. Actually, it's really in no particular order. I just, they're the main three teams I love. But anyway, let's go to the Lions real quick. This team is so hard to predict because I know people going to say this team is not good. People going to say, oh, they don't got Calvin Johnson and they ain't going to win shit. And they only going to win two to three games and all this bullshit. And I look at them people looking like, the fuck are you talking about? And <laughs> and then people on NFL Network, and I heard somebody, if you look at the Detroit uh, Free Press and then look at the video down below where Matthew Stafford said, the Lions is going to be tougher to defend since Calvin Johnson is not going to be there. They're going to be tougher to defend. 
and then it was last year because the office will be tough to defend. And the motherfucker in the pre pre uh free press fucking I think Lord on the fucking website and shit. It wasn't actual the Detroit Free Press, but it was somebody that they recorded and they showed the video of the guy. And he said, well, good luck with no Calvin Johnson because you're going to need it because I don't see you doing anything. He was just talking shit to Matthew Stafford. And I'm looking like, this dude, this dude don't have a fucking clue what he's going to be in store for for this season. But do I see the Lions making it to the Super Bowl? Yes, I do. Just not this year. But yes, I do see them making it to the Super Bowl in the very near future, in my opinion. I know it don't seem like it, but we're going to be one of those type of teams like the New York Giants of 2007 and shit, or the motherfucking New Orleans Saints and shit <laughs> in 2009 and shit, or the fucking Wells team that nobody expected to make the Super Bowl and shit. Um... Teams like <laughs> it's hard to think about it, but maybe even you can even count even I ain't gonna say the Ravens of 2012 because everybody expected that. What team that nobody expected to make the Super Bowl? Um, I have to think about that shit. I really believe I gotta think about that shit. Okay, the the um St. Louis Rams before they moved to LA. The St. Louis Rams back in '99. 2000. I think, yeah, 2000. When they went to the fucking Super Bowl. In 2000. Nobody expected the St. Louis Rams to make it to the Super Bowl. As a matter of fact, most people wouldn't even expect the St. Louis Rams to make it to the fucking playoffs that year. And they went to the Super Bowl and won the motherfucker. That's what I said. That's the type of shit that could happen with the Lions. I can see that type of shit happening with the Lions. I know people might think the team is not good, but the team is way better off now than they was in years past. Because if you say the Lions suck dick in 2000, from the 2000 to 2010, that if you say we really suck dick, like we really was trash as fuck, I will completely agree with you. I will completely agree with you 120,000%. Because this team did suck fucking dick. We went 0-16. Then the year after that, we went 2-14. and <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, And then the year before that, we we started the season 7 and motherfucking 2 just to turn around and lose the last 7 games of the season. We went 7 and fucking 9. Like, shit like that. And then we had a bunch of... Th we had a 3-13 season. That led us to get to motherfucking Joey Harrington because we suck fucking penis. So, yeah, I agree with you. But now the Lions, I think they're better suited to make the Super Bowl than they have been before. I'm not saying they're an elite team, but this is the type of team that could sneak up on motherfuckers, I think. And let's go with the Pistons. I think this team probably has the best chance to win a championship out of the Detroit teams. I know I, lo I love my Lions. But I think, I'm going to tell you why. I think the Pistons got the best chance to make the championship and win the motherfucker. Now, the Pistons, a couple years ago, they were shit. We know that. When we had, <laughs> we was running through coach after coach and shit. We had John Cooster as a fucking coach. He was fucking trash, okay? We had Maurice Cheeks as a coach. He was fucking horrible as a coach. Maurice Chiefs was terrible. He didn't even last through the whole season. We have Michael Curry. Michael fucking Curry as the coach in 2009, 2010. We have Michael Curry. He was terrible. If you watch the Pistons in that time, in that time span between 2009 until 2015, the Pistons, man, Pistons had some shitty head coaches. Michael Curry was ass. He was terrible as a head coach. We didn't have no players. We had motherfucking Kyle Singlers and Austin Dave garbage ass and motherfucking Rodney Stuckey and some bum ass motherfuckers on the pisses. Goddamn. Who else? <laughs> who else we had on the team was ass? Max Seal wasn't that great. We just had terrible fucking players. We ain't had shit. We was, we was trash, bro. 
<laughs> we was done. Done. Who wants to know that? Our point guard situation was fucked. We ain't had shit at the point guard position. We ain't had shit. This team sucked. But then Stan Van Gundy got in this bitch. I know the season last year, not the season that just happened, but the season before that, the Pistons were not that good of a team. We sucked ass. We was one of the worst teams in the East. Then, this upcoming season, this season that just passed, uh, we didn't even expect the Pistons to make the playoffs. They made the playoffs as an AC. This team, we ain't, they ain't supposed to be in the playoffs, as people say, but we made it. And I know we got swept by the Cavaliers, but we we took their ass to the limit. Now, I expect this team to progressively get better. I, I could see the Pistons improving. I Because they're young, number one. Number two, they got a coach that's... That's a no bullshit coach. He don't play that shit. That's number two. And number three, I could definitely see this team getting better and better. They they're learning to play together. And when they learn to play together longer, this team is going to get better. I could see that happening. And like I said, I would not be surprised to see this team in the Eastern Conference Finals in the next year or two. I would not be surprised. And I would definitely not I would not be surprised if they make it to the finals. In three to four years, I would not be surprised. If they continue to learn to play together, I can see the Pistons in the finals in the next three years. I, I mean, I just see it. And if they make the finals, I'm quite sure they're going to win the son of a bitch. I think they will. I think this the, that's the closest Detroit team to win the championship. But, man, what team you think that's going to bring home a fucking championship to Detroit? What Detroit team you going to – what team – in Detroit, you think that's going to bring home a championship first? The Pistons, the Tigers, the Lions, or the Red Wings? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And also, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on my Twitter. On my new Twitter. 3D1 Man Beast. Follow me on Twitter. Do not be scared to follow me. I don't want, I don't want people being scared to follow me for what? Follow me, man. Follow me, man. For real. Shit, so we can interact with each other. So you can ask me questions and shit, and I might and I might be able to answer them in, in fucking videos and shit if you ask me some questions. So yeah, follow me on Twitter at 3D1 Manbeast. That is three lowercase D one man beast. Like man beast on my channel, like capital M and Beast. Man Beast. Follow me. Peace.